You didn't see that coming? Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Reborn Dinosaur Statue Review on the 135th scale Acrocanthosaurus Adokensis Hercules Deluxe Pack. If you're trying to pick one of these up, you can do so. I'm going to big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And big thanks to Reborn and Big Bad Toy Store for making this review possible. As you can see right over here, it says one third Tenontosaurus Teleti. Uh, not much on the side of the packaging over here. And on the very back, you can see a bunch of other dinosaurs, uh, the Y-Rex, King T-Rex, Wind Hunter, Savage, and Hercules is right over there. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Acrocanthosaurus Atokensis out of the packaging, or Hercules. Let's just call him Hercules. That's a little bit easier. Then there's our Tenontosaurus Teleti right over there, that one third of dinosaur all eaten up. I think that is awesome. Very nice detail on that. Great details on this dinosaur over here. It looks very, very cool. I like the little base, even though it doesn't have a very strong attachment. I wish this was a little bit more stable kind of seen that in the past So I wish they'd fix that but other than that the sculpt on this is spectacular And I absolutely love the paint apps and like with most of these reborn statues We get this read up on Ancrocanthosaurus Antokensis and you could read all this stuff if you want to go ahead and pause it now And you can see the skeleton right there the scale next to a human being and then where it was located or where the bones were located Oh the dinosaur is sleeping. Oh what happened to his neck? Oh my god. I just really love this gore though This is really really well done. I love the details right over here I love that you can see the rib cage right inside and you get some lighter reds with some darker red over here It looks like they put this glossy paint over it. So it looks very very bloody I love how you can see all just this chewed up meat just looks so gnarly Ugh, It's really gross and I really like how the skin looks right here on the dinosaur as well The paint looks great no attention to detail spared on this at all You can even see the ear hole right there and its eyes are closed you get the little beak coloration right over there too. Nice gashes and everything right here on the neck. Just a beautiful looking statue. I love the score. It looks really, really good. And the base is really cool looking too. Uh, as far as aesthetics go, I really like it. You can see the indents right there from the footprints. And you can see the little toe prints right in there too. I think that's really nice. This reminds me of Salt Lake City ground. It's a North American. I think they found this in Oklahoma. I think that's what the bio said. And then you can see the skeleton right over there. Look at those spines. And I wonder what those are for actually. I wonder if that was like a mating thing or if it was like a solar energy kind of thing because I think it was Dimetrodon that had that. Anyway, but uh, and that was technically not a dinosaur and kind of related to us. I saw that in a documentary once. So the functionality of this base is, uh, it's, it's not totally useless. It's just that I hate the way they sculpted the feet for this. Yeah, like putting this down on a flat surface, you can see there's some gappage right there between the foot and the base. So they need to get some kind of system going on with these things where they stand a lot more sturdy than this because you can, you know, shake it around and then there he goes. Now again, the paint and the sculpt on this are just spectacular. I love all these little spikes right over here at the top and that color shading looks really really good I love how it blends in together you get this nice amber color going throughout along with some yellows and browns The mouth looks really good. He has this gold painted right here for the eye They did that with the t-rex too, and I like that I'm glad that they did it again the teeth look really nice So the jaw actually has some pretty good articulation you can actually move it down pretty far at first I thought I could only move down that much But with some more pressure you can get it bent down all the way right there, and that is really cool you can see all the detail right there and then on top of that you could actually even put the Tenontosaurus inside his mouth if you want to do that and then just close that up and I think that's really cool mm, I'm dinosaur neck or you could set it up like that where the hand is touching the ground it actually helps him stand a little bit so that's pretty neat on the other side right over here you can see some more scales and stuff just looks very very realistic looking I love all this little black right over there very very cool just saying the same thing over and over again. Like that paint, like that sculpt, but it does look very good. Even the detail on the nails over here looks great. Underbelly looks awesome. Right here on the ribs. More of these spines right over here. You can see all this color moving in and out right there. Just looking very natural, very realistic look. I guess these are seams. I don't even know. They're right around the joints and everything, so it just fits in very, very well. And then coming around here towards the back of the tail, just looks really, really nice. And you don't want to skip the other side over here. This is looking really, really good. And then there's the other side. Uh, you can't see his cooler anywhere, but I'm sure it's buried in there somewhere. And even the bottom of the feet over here are detailed like crazy. That's really nice. Now, one thing I'm really grateful for is that when I took this out of the packaging, it actually had this little plastic bubble around its feet. And that can help with displaying if you want to set it up without the base over here. Uh, it could, I don't know. Yeah, I'd rather kind of not have that there, but you know, that is an option. Now this Hercules statue is standing at about five and a half inches tall, and I'm measuring it to be about 12 inches across. And then to compare the Acrocanthosaurus to a couple other Rebor statues, we have the Tyrannosaurus over here, and then we have the Ceratosaurus right over there. And you can see he stands just right in the middle between those two. And then here's Hercules next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, I want to ride the horsey. 
So aside from the whole non-connecting base over here, I think this is a great statue. I really do. Uh, the sculpt, the paint apps are just superb, and I'm super excited about this little piece over here. I really love that touch. I hope they give us more gory dinosaur stuff like that. That's really awesome. And I hope you guys thought my review was awesome. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here for more shark in your face. If you're over 18 years old, check out my Patreon account, link below. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to toynewseye.com for the latest in action figure news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.